Policy Studio is a powerful, full-featured tool which is used for editing and creating the policies that run on the Vordal API server. Here we're running Policy Studio, we're connecting up to a node manager, which shows us the number of API servers. We see a dev server and two staging API servers. We're connecting to the dev API server, and here we see all the configuration on that API server. We see the listeners, the ports it's listening on, and the paths. Here's where we see not only the HTTP and SSL, but also we would see message queues, FTP, TIPCO ports as well that have been listened on. Here's where also we can configure the routing and the load balancing, for example, in this case to Netflix. Down here we see all the policies. Here's a number of policies that I've configured on this dev server. So this API server, I have a throttling policy, and you can see here the branching, the visual branching within a policy. So each one of these individual elements is called a filter. Depending on the outcome, it goes down the red or the green path. There are many filters available in the Policy Studio. By typing auth or by typing routing, we see all the different authentication and routing filters. For example, we can see the Oracle filters by typing in Oracle. There's over 150 different filters. And also, by creating a policy package, you can create your own. There's also an SDK for creating your own filters. We can go down and see some more complex examples of policies. We can see examples for API validation, API keys, and OAuth. If we scroll down further, we see the external connections. So here's where we define all of the external connections that the API server connects out to. For example, the authentication repositories, RSA, Antrust, Oracle, IBM, and others. Also, we go down here and we see resources. So here's examples of scripts. So we see color-coded environment for looking at the scripts, which you can use within scripting filters on the API server. Down on the libraries, we see the definition of caches, whitelist and blacklist, and also up here we can see the JSON schemas that are being used as part of JSON schema validation within the API server. Policy Studio also comes with a mini PKI. You can issue certificates, and also you can register the certificates that are trusted within policies that run on the API server. Also, you see the users for the onboard user store, too. Once you're happy with your configuration on the API server, you can then choose to deploy it. By hitting the Deploy button, we can deploy to our dev API server, or we can deploy to the two API servers in the staging group. When we deploy, we can add a comment also. The comment is used for version control of the configurations up on the API servers. Here I put in a comment, and then once I put in my comment, I can hit Deploy. The configuration is then deployed out to the two API servers that are in my staging group. So in summary, the Policy Studio is a full-featured tool for configuring API servers.